Hi everyone, it's Dave here. Um, I'm in a field um, in Hertfordshire where normally I, um, I come out with my colleague Julian Evanhart to do a lot of metal detecting. Um, now we actually came out here a couple of days ago just to do some bird watching because there's a barn owl that uh, inhabits this area uh, and we found that the, the landowner had carved this huge trench along the edge of the field. It's actually, um, it's actually an, an extension to the drainage ditch that um, goes beyond here along the adjacent field. So he's, he's, du he's dug this for drainage. Um, but when we actually came and had a closer look, Julian spotted some Roman pottery in the spoil heap um, just over here. Um, and Here's a clip of the moment when we found it. I actually captured it on video. Yeah, Jules and I are on one of our old sites and uh, they've done, done some earth moving and uh, Jules finding some rather interesting bits and pieces. Well, we've got some Samian here. It's in beautiful condition. Oh, look. Oh, look. It's Say, a pot. It fits. Oh, God. And, what is that? What is... We have. Is that a bone? No, it's a great chunk of Roman mortarium. Oh my god, look at the lip on that. Oh, fabulous. Oh my god, this place must be heaving with stuff. And we're going to come back tomorrow and find it. Look, this is a massive part of amphora, which I think that might be amphora lid. That there again is more amphora. Oh crikey. Jesus, this is incredible. Let's have a walk along, see if there's any more bits. What I should do, Dave, I'll, I'll, I'll put this over there. Yeah, put them there. We'll come, you'll come back, pick them up in a minute, yeah. and then... Look. Let's have a look. Let's have a walk along, look see what... The... Oh, what's that there? Oh, my... What? What are you seeing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my hell? God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what the heck? Look, it's a... Look at that. It's a huge amphora section. Oh my god! Is that another part? No, that is mud. Oh, what's that there? Yes! Oh, yes. bloody hell! Oh, look at the size of these pottery sherds! Oh my god! Right, let's have a walk along. Walk along. We need to cover this under here, Dave. Oh my god, Dave! He's dug out a new drainage ditch. That's an old bone. Oh, you, uh, yo, you and bones. Yeah. I know, I like. Right. Bones, right. Oh, I can't believe it's a whole amphora. <coughs> there right. to be more. God, look at that lot. Must be some more in here somewhere. Yeah, because he just found another piece. Look. Oh, it's a bug. Okay. Bone. There's got to be more right. than that, mate. We're coming back tomorrow. Yes, another fragment. Yeah. That's come to, it's got stones actually affixed to it. That's come down from somebody. Oh, dear. Just got oh, look, what's that, Jules, what? there? I think there's an old drain. No, that's, that's an old bit of Victorian drain. Right, well, Jules and I are back at um, X marks the spot where we found all the Roman pottery in these excavations yesterday. We brought the uh, detector equipment, and Jules has bought this um, detector that he got from the Early Learning Centre. <laughs> Cheeky Jesus. Sorry, mate, what? <laughs> right. And. Um, Actually, the light's better than it was yesterday. It had really bright sunlight and it was hard, very harsh. Just going to have a look at the uh, stratifications we've got in here. Goes right down to the clay down there. Interesting. The Roman pottery came from this area. But um, we're going to detect 
all along here while we got the uh, while we got some daylight uh, and hopefully we might find some more pottery right let's get detecting Jules has got a signal You sure it wasn't your spade? No. Nah. Oh, nice lump of lead. Lead. Well, that's not lead, you donker. Hey, that's <laughs> weird, it's giving a signal. Hey? It's got to be oxidised lead. That's it. Weird. Okay. Well, I'll take that back and study that. Okay. All right. We'll crack on. Oh. The little pit. It's packed with pottery. Just there. Just so, there. Yep. A little lovely base of a little vase. Yeah, look. Oh, I'm coming round. Animal bone. Yeah, it's all pot. Yeah, it's grey ware. I'll tell you what, I'll excavate that and then you carry on detecting. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, gray. is that grey ware? Yeah. It's just a layer of compacted pottery, just, just from there, look. Yeah, I can see it. Nice rim, pot rim there. Wow. All right. How strange is that? Just a little layer. So you must have scooped that out, and it yeah. must. The rest of it must be here behind us in this yeah. uh, spoil heap. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Right. Oh my God. That's what we come to see here yesterday. The barn owl. See if I can get a bit closer. to know where to actually look. Uh, oh, another bit of pottery. <coughs> Trouble is I can't really dismantle all of this because he's he's planted something in the top so to put some of it back after. Might go and excavate where uh, Julian found that pottery earlier. Hard to know whether this is a, a rubbish tip, Roman rubbish tip or what. God, there's pottery everywhere here. Yeah? Damien Ware. God. Oh my God. A 
Whoops. Wow. Oh, a big chunk there. Oh, there's a big piece here, I think. <sighs> wow, that's a big thick chunk. It must be a rubbish tip because it's all it's all broken and this this area hasn't really been disturbed. All right, I reckon it's a Roman rubbish tip. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God, what have we got here? Oh, my God. Oh, that looks interesting. I want to get my camera and photograph that before I uh, dig it out. Oh God, it's so awkward. Oh. oh, crikey, it's so difficult to stay upright. The pottery. This deposit goes right into the bank. Wow. Oh God, it's hard to stand upright on these banks. Oh God! Right. Massive chunks of pot. That looks like Terra Nigra. Trying to find out what this is, it looks like, oh, right. Wow, that's a rim of a pot. Oh my God. <laughs> Crikey, there's something big in here. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> It's the rim of a vase, top of a vase. Oh, damn. Wonder if the rest of it's in there. Oh, my God, there's a base of a pot. Look at that. Oh, crikey. There's a rim. Damn. Don't know if there's any more. Little bits, but that's interesting. That's great. That's glass. Roman glass. Oh no! Rim of another, oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh, 
Oh my god, what the hell? Ow! I can't move. Just huge chunks of pot. Oh my god! Massive piece. Oh, <laughs> another one. <sighs> I think it's a rubbish tip. It doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be anything here that will suggest um, um, a funeral or anything. There's nothing complete, it's all broken. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's, uh, it's a rubbish tip, but for what? I mean, there must be, uh, there must be an occupation site around here somewhere. Because I can't dig too much out of here. <coughs> oh my God, there's a jawbone of an animal. Teeth on it. Oh dear. Oh well. I can't make too much of a hole. I don't think the gov the farmer will be too pleased, so I might have to put some of this back. Oh gosh. Right, let's have a look and see what we got. We've got tons of broken pots. There's the there's a nice base of a huge pot. And we've even got the the necks of two Roman vases. Another one here with a part of a handle on it. Wow. Big jawbone of uh, Something, probably an ox. Wow, it's the rim of a pot. Wow. Oh well, let's go and see how Jules is getting on. Yeah, but um, it's same in where, isn't it? No, isn't it not? That's no, fake. Right. It's that fake stuff. But oh, from still... China. Yeah. Look at the size of this bloody. I know, boring. amphora. They're really brilliant. I love those. Yeah, uh, they're mine. I found window it. Window glass. That's, you sure? Yeah. It's definitely Roman, whatever. Other that. I know. Uh, that come out of there. I bet there must be more in there. Well. What appeared to have happened is the mechanical digger, as it came out and scooped out this trench, it appears to have cut into a Roman rubbish tip full of broken pottery um, and we found a small deposit here in the bank uh, which we be extracted out uh, but we think the bulk of it is in there in the in the spoil heap um, we managed to pull a few pieces out but uh, we're back here today just to see what um, what other bits we can extract um, Julian's gone off detecting um, along the spoil heap with his metal detector um, so I'm going to crack on and uh, see what bits I can uh, pull out of the spoil heap so it's all in this um, this end section of the spoil heap that we were finding lots of bits of pottery and um, so just carefully scraping away and uh, oh there's one piece Oh, a nice rim of a pot. Oh, <laughs> nice rim of a pot. Nice. Um, no. Oh, I. 
Oh, crikey, that's a huge, that's a huge base of a pot. Um, oh, you can see that huge base of a pot. Oh, and it's got another bit of pot stuck to it. I'll leave that on there to sort that out later. Um, wow. Crikey, this whole spoil heap must be full of stuff. That's clay. There's another big chunk. Ah, that's a big chunk of amphora. Interesting. Another piece. Oh, there's another rim of a pot. Oh, that's a nice piece. So I've got my spade, but I'm worried about striking bits and breaking them. Um, it's hard to know where the mother load is, whether it's behind all this here, or what. Yeah. It might have all spread around as he, um, as he dumped all the topsoil. know uh. got such a variety of soil types because he's actually gone down into the clay and you see lumps of clay here and you think it's pot um. I'll just uh, extract out a few a bit more and see what else we can find. Oh, that's the ah, oh. that's the base of a pot. You can see the base there. Wow. I'm a bit reluctant to go in heavy with a spade. I don't want to break anything that's uh, really nice because we have found some really nice pieces of Samian ware or Terra sigillatum. Uh, and I, uh, I don't really want to damage any of it any more than it has been already. Oh, what we got? <sighs> Wow, another piece of pot. Uh, strange brown colour, this one. That's a rim of a pot. Lovely. <laughs> Found a few more bits so far. God, <laughs> look at this, actually. Soaking wet clay. <laughs> Amazing. And uh, oh my god, oh my god, what we got here? Oh, it's true. 
Uh, I don't think you can see this very clearly. That's glass. Uh, oh crikey. Oh look at that. That's glass. Wasn't expecting to find that. Wow. Good job I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> um, crikey, I almost could didn't see that. Uh, There's any more in there. I'll have to dig all that out and see if there's any more. I think I found another piece. Right there. In the hole there. Um, oh, oh yeah! Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> That must go with this piece. Oh wow, I wonder how much, how much more's in there. I've backfilled the other bit because um, I, I dug in more and I, I didn't find anything else. No more glass, uh, unfortunately. Not, not in there anyway. So um, I've moved over here a bit and uh, that's a big chunk of amphora. A uh, bit of red pottery there. But, uh, oops. Uh, another piece of pot, whatever. Uh, big uh, chunk of a root there but um, seems to be thinning out a bit but um, I can't really go in too deep because the farmer actually wants to keep this bank as a f as a feature so uh, for now at least I think we're done you know I've found quite a bit uh, I'm just going to go and wash some of it down in the stream, so let's start backfilling for now. Might come back later, but uh, for now. I have to backfill it as best I can. Oh, well, this is the latest haul. So it's, no, I've just washed a lot of this in the stream and let it dry off in the sun. But huge piece, pieces of storage containers, and amphora, greyware, pot rims. I'm hoping with all the other bits that we found, we might be able be able to piece some of this together. Oh well, I think then them two bits could possibly go together. Well, they belong to the same pot, I'm pretty sure. That, that one, wow, seems to have a feature on it. I reckon that's part of a mortarium. But uh, yeah, I think we've done all right for today. I've put the glass, I've packed that away in um, special self-sealing plastic bags to protect it. Um, I don't want to damage that.
I'm pretty much done for today. Um, I haven't really found much more. Um, Oh, in all, over the past couple of days, we've had over four or five carrier bags full of pottery just out of here. Um, and I think they've probably come to the end of it now, I think. The glass was very unexpected. Um, it's unusual to find glass in Roman rubbish pits because, the, like us, the Romans used to recycle their glass. You know, they it, it, it's easier to make glass from recycled glass than it is from raw materials. So um, an, an archaeologist some years ago told me that it's believed that they often used to collect up all broken glass, take it to the market um, and barter it or exchange it for other goods um, because it could be recycled. Um, obviously somebody missed these bits but um, it's hard to know what's actually happened here. Um, I'm not convinced that um, this material it, um, was dumped over a long period of time. I, I'm con I, I've got a feeling it was all dumped in one go. Now, whether there's a, a Roman building here or somewhere near here um, that suffered some calamity and um, everything got destroyed, but there's a lane here that runs right beside the field, just about... Um, 20 or 30 feet away and that is a Roman road and that runs north up to a Roman settlement in Bedfordshire. Um, there's the possibility that maybe a horse and cart was coming along here one day and um, it, it turned over and all the goods on the back got smashed um, and somebody cleared it up and just threw everything on the side of the road into the into the grass. Who knows? But I'm the first person to touch this in 2,000 years and it feels wonderful. You know, somebody was actually using this stuff. You know, there were mortariums, they were grinding corn and stuff in it. And... Right. We'll get it home, get some of it cleaned up. Particularly waiting to see what that glass looks like. That, for me, is a bonus. Wow. Well, I think it's time to pack up now. Getting late, and uh, I don't know where Julian's got to. I saw him earlier. He's not had much luck detecting on the spoil heap. He's had a couple of Georgian buttons and a piece of lead. Um, he's gone right down the end there somewhere, but um, no, it just seems to be um, pottery. No, no metal objects at all. So uh, pack up and go. I think. <laughs> Now I've got to go and find Julian. Where the hell's he gone? <laughs> I found Julian. It became apparent why he was gone so long. Um, much further down the trench, um, he was making some interesting finds. <sighs> Most spectacularly, um, a beautiful Roman trumpet brooch. Um, wow. I don't think this is associated with the pottery finds we had because it was much further away down the, um, the edge of the field. But, um, more to do with the Roman road, you know, traffic moving along the Roman road. And of course, there's another Roman brooch here. Um, strange how one of the wings is offset. Um, that could be by design, I suppose. Shame it's broken. Um, a lead spindle whirl. Um, um, a medieval ring brooch. A Tudor buckle. These are quite common, these are. Um, and an old medieval buckle and plate. He's also done all right with some coins. Um, beautiful Roman uh, bronze, bronze coins. Um, these have come from deep down, which is probably why they're in really good condition. Um, that looks like a follis of um, 
Maximianus, I think, possibly. Um, most of them are Constantines. Oh, it's a Victorian farthing. Oh, and a William the Third shilling. But um, th these were all brought up by earth moving further down. Not I don't think they're anything to do with um, the actual pottery that we found. You know, they, they seem much later um, from the Roman period. But um, all in all, it's been very interesting. This is the large section of mortarium bowl that um, Julian initially found in the spoil heap. Um, mortarium, uh, if you think of mortar and pestle like we use nowadays, mortar cut, uh, comes from the name mortarium. Um, and this would have been a large bowl that they'd use for grinding corn or whatever in. Um, and when it's all ground up, they would pour it out of this little channel here. Um, and this one, as you can see, actually has the maker's mark on it. Um, not sure if it's B-A or B-I-N or what yet. Uh, hoping to do more research on that. But um, that's certainly a nice piece. These three pieces of pottery, um, which we found also in the spoil heap, so far I've managed to find three pieces of one bowl um, and it would have been what looks like a, a flan dish. Hopefully um, we can find some more pieces of this one. It'd be nice to be able to reconstruct it or most of it. These pieces are, um, are what's known as greyware. And they're quite often found on um, Roman sites in, in Britain. Um, these two parts here fit together, part of um, a large bowl. Hopefully we can find some more pieces of it. Um, here's the base of a pot. Hopefully we can find the rest of that one. These are the tops of wine flagons. Um, you probably saw me excavating one of them. This one, I think. Um, or this one, yeah. We saw this one um, as it emerged in the spoil heap. This one actually still got um, part of the handle on it. Seems to be quite a lot of these in the spoil heap. Hopefully still some more in there. So far we found three fragments of terra sigillatum or Samian ware um, in the spoil heap and as you can see this one's actually decorated with a fig leaf design. This is very expensive Roman pottery, you know, this is very high class stuff um, from the first century. Um, hopefully there's some more there yet. There's an abundance of um, Samian ware and terra rubra, or red ware, in the uh, spoil heap. Base of a large pot, uh, that could be a drinking vessel. Um, and these two fragments, which we um, initially found, these were the first bits we actually found. Um, they fit together, part of a bowl. Part of a large bowl there as well. Hopefully we can piece some of these pieces back together. These three pieces um, all come from a large mortarium bowl, similar to the first piece you saw. Uh, we don't think it's from the same pot. Um, the colours seem different, but as you can see, um, it's full of bits of grit which um, er 
incorporated into the fabric of the material to help grind the corn and stuff like that. Um, these three pieces I believe come from one bowl. Um, hopefully we can find the remainder. This huge chunk of pottery, it's very thick as well, um, is part of a large amphora or storage jar, probably for storing wine. Um, we found lots of this in the spoil heap. Um, as yet we haven't found the handles, they could still be there. We found con a considerable number of pot bases in the spoil heap, as you can see here. Various different, different types of ware, not sure that, um, of the names of these, some of these types of pottery just yet. Um, but um, hopefully we've still got the term parts of the bowl, so we can reconstruct some of them. And finally, um, so far, we found three pieces of glass. This is one of the first pieces we found. Um, obviously part of a bowl, it's got a little lip on the top there. Um, and then, I, while I was excavating out in the spoil heap, I found what I thought was um, two pieces of pottery until um, I cleaned them and found that they were in fact glass. These two actually fit together. They formed part of what was a very large handle um, of a large glass vessel. And these would have extended up the side of the vessel and then come over at an angle, like almost like a shoulder. Um, and the breaks on these have just happened. I, uh, I'm sure the mechanical digger, when he was excavating the trench, broke these, and the, the, the rest of the pieces must still be there. That is extraordinary. That would have been a beautiful glass vessel.